All right, so we are gonna take another look at the new Rich Content Editor. We're gonna be looking at how to use apps, okay? Probably some of you have been familiar with using the LTI button in the Rich Content Editor to be able to connect different apps within your page. And it doesn't look like it's here right now. So we are gonna take a look at where to find it. So first of all, we're gonna click on the three dots on the very far right of our Rich Content Editor. And there are a few buttons here. And really quickly, three of these buttons um, are the same as what they've been before. We just haven't, they're just hidden here. So we have our clear formatting button. We also have insert table. And then we also have insert math equation. Now, this is a button we've had before, but it hasn't looked like this or it wasn't called this. But this little plug is called apps. And this is where you'll find the LTIs that you've used pre previously. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on apps. And when I come here, I can see a list of all of the apps that I have available. So those of you with Google Apps or Microsoft, whatever your district has turned on will be available here. So obviously, depending on the school that you're at, this list is gonna look a little bit different for you than what you may have just seen me scroll through. Here's one tip with using this. If you notice, for instance, if I wanted to use the Google Apps, um, my mouse, looks like a cursor on top of the title. And then it looks like a hand down here. So it seems like that would be an indicator to click there, correctly, correct? No, that's not what it is. You are going to actually click where your mouse looks like a cursor on Google Apps. So I would click that and then I get my new window that will come up where I could then look at my Google Drive and find content to be able to put on my, put on my page. So, um, that is where you will find this three, um, these three dots. That's where you'll find those apps. And then remember that tip. Even though your mouse doesn't seem to indicate that that's where you would click, you're going to actually click on the title of the app that you want to use, not the drop down below. So hopefully that helps in you finding some of the features that you've always used in the Rich Content Editor but aren't quite sure where to find now.